Uh, Chewy's Bones with a $10 tip. Thank you for that. Uh, Barson 7D with a 10 gift bomb. And JJVZ with the two years of support. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Ko, I think you need greater restoration to fixability damage. Nope. Nope, nope. The way that it works is lesser restoration restores a dice roll of ability damage. Greater restoration does all the ability damage from a single line. And greater restoration cures all ability damage and removes negative levels. I think. Uh, hold on. Let's verify that real quick. Uh, where is lesser restoration? Le okay, Lesser Restoration dispels any temporary magic effects and cures 1d4 points of temporary ability damage to one of the ability scores. Normal Restoration functions like Lesser Restoration except that it dispels all temporary negative levels or one permanent negative level and cures all temporary ability damage from a single ability score. And then I don't think I have Greater Restoration yet. I think that's the next tier. So we'll have to look and see exactly what that does. Uh, yeah, let's throne room. Let's do it. Mm. NJ Starling says, Kanish Chan! How are you doing, buddy? Oh, Good to see you, NJ. Best, <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, let's do a rest. Actually, I just realized something. If I rest in the capital, then I don't get any of the bonuses from resting outside. And if I rest out, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I was going to say, because if you put Tristian in the special slot, then he restores some ability damage while you rest. But if we're going to be curing it all anyway, then whatever. Zircon says, hello. Hello, Zircon. How are you? Hi. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and sell. We got to sell. We got to buy. Uh, what are you buying? What are you selling? Play Banosh! Quarter of a century! I wish you great health and tenacity for Kai. Thank you for being a beacon of light in a dark place. Never stop being you. Play Banosh, you are way too good to me. Thanks for your support, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. I brought some relics. Money. Money? Ooh, tell me the story of the Cypress Queen. I hear the noise of the capital. Merchants shouting, horses neighing, soldiers' armors clanking. This is all from far away, far beyond the tall walls of the palace gardens. The noise is barely audible through the lush vegetation, but here, in the cool stillness, I can hear two lovers whisper beneath the shadow of an ancient cypress tree. I'm not one of them. No, I'm just a frail cypress twig. Those two cannot be together. She is a queen, and he is her loyal knight. Perhaps too loyal. Giggity. But their love could not be kept secret for long. The king ordered the knight executed, but the knight managed to slip away to the wilderness of the Narl Marches in the Stolen Lands. He hid there, away from civilization, with only animals and birds to keep him company. To remember his lost home, he brought a cypress twig with him and planted it in front of his hut. The tree took root, and the knight spent long hours talking to the cypress, imagining it was his queen. And one day, one day I answered. Since ancient times, these lands have been home to the Fae, so it's little surprise that a dryad would be born within the tree. We became friends. He told me of his homeland and his beloved queen and the merry life at court, the celebrations, the parades, the tournaments. I wanted so badly to see it all with my own eyes. Did you fall in love? Of course not. The very thought is shameful. The knight remained faithful to his true love till the end of his days. As for me, well, I was born from a twig of, a, of the cypress under which the knight and the queen's love story begin. I'd like to think I was a child of their love, in a way. I never told him directly, but I always considered the knight to be like a father to me. Why couldn't you go see the city for yourself? You know not? Dryads are bonded to their trees. We cannot stray far from them. And even if we could, our kind tends to not get favorable reactions from humans. They find us too strange, too alien. I doubt I would have been warmly received in the, in the city. What happened next? So I decided I wanted to be a queen myself. And why not? After all, the Green Mother gave me my share of beauty and magic, and the knight taught me all about how to rule a country. Um... Uh... I organized a celebration. All the local fae were invited. I had no idea there were so many of my kin in the neighborhood. Everyone came. Shy nymphs, merry satyrs and their reed pipes, tender nixies, leprechauns with their fancy buckled hats and shiny shoes. 
Is there such a thing as lep leprechaunist? That's such a stereotype. Come on. Let's let's be a little bit more forward looking, please. Um The celebration lasted three days, and my guests enjoyed it so much that every one of them proclaimed me their queen at the end. I wasn't establishing prisons or taxes or other nasty things commons in uh, common in human courts, but the social life of my court was vibrant enough to make any human monarch jealous. And what kind of functions did your fey court conduct? We did all kinds of amazing things. Sometimes I hosted dances that went on all night, or held tournaments in which satyrs would entertain the audience, kicking each other for the right to kiss me. Whoa. There were even parades organized for local animals. Just imagine, deer, boars, and bears all marching in lines. Even those fey who initially didn't like the idea of a kingdom were happy with things. I think we may have been the only kingdom in the world built without a single drop of blood spilled, built on a foundation of joy and happiness. So your kingdom wasn't real, it was basically just a game? What an odd suggestion. How about your country? Is it real? Or could it just be a game with complicated rules and high stakes? Our kingdom was as real as we were. I kind of agree with that. Life is just a big game. I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. And then what? Life in the woods changed a lot over time, and the night changed too. After spending so much time around Fey and meditating alone in nature, he became more religious and built a shrine to, shrine to Aristil with his own hands. Rumors spread around the area of some hermit or saint living in the swamps, though to be frank, there wasn't anything saintly about him, as far as I could tell. But people started coming to meet him, and over time, a small village grew around the shrine built by people in search of a new life. As word spread of our kingdom in the woods, some people were surprised, while some just smiled knowingly. After all, the idea of a kingdom was familiar to humans, so Fae living in a kingdom made them seem less alien, less strange and scary. So we begin living side by side in peace. Is this the story of the kingdom in the swamp ladies area? This might be that entire story. Sometimes Faye would visit humans just to share a cup of tea, and sometimes there were even unions that resulted in children. Human children with some of the magic of the Fae. Some of those children deserve their own legends, but those are other stories for another time. Human monarchs are quite different from their subjects. They have eyes everywhere. Their arms are long and their memories longer. As the village grew, news of the location of a disgraced knight made its way to the king. Eventually, a small but heavy armored group of the king's men arrived in the village, demanding the hermit knight leave with them immediately. The villagers, both human and fey, were ready to fight to defend him, but the knight followed his unwelcome guests voluntarily. He said he wanted to avoid bloodshed, and that he was old and longed to see his homeland and his beloved queen once again, even if it ended with his execution. So the knight was taken away. Everyone grieved for him, myself especially, but as time passed, the pain subsided as it tends to. But the village and the fey kingdom happily lived in peace for many years after. What happened to the village and the kingdom? If you wonder, if your wonder is strong enough, you could visit the Gnarl Marches yourself and ask the locals. It is that area. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. What happened to the knight? I know not. The story was not about him. The Dryad never saw him again. Perhaps he slipped away from his guards and accomplished a slew of heroic deeds afterwards. Or perhaps his captors executed him on the first day, simply taking the king his head. Or maybe he died on the executioner's block. But in the city of his youth, gazing once more upon the queen, older now, but as beautiful as ever. Or maybe the city had changed beyond recognition, and his queen had died years ago, and he realized too late that his true home was a village built in the swamps. Or maybe the king saw the pious old man standing before him, sharing nothing in common with the bold young upstart that had impinged his honor so long before, and thus pardoned him. Alas, alas, we have no way of knowing what really happened. Time spared not even the kingdom where this story started, so your guess here is as good as mine. Thank you for the story, storyteller. Man, those are so cool. Those are so cool. Ah, did we find any new shards of ancient artifacts? No. Okay. Let's go. Mm. Did we get that in our first run? Um, I, I think we would have had to. Um, oh, the claims got fixed on outward. Red is uploading all of it now. Yes! Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Fantastic. Oh, in my first playthrough, I was missing some parts of it. Ah, how cool. Great. Doing new stuff. I like it. Yo, we gotta talk, we gotta find some collar in town. I don't, I don't know, I don't remember what this is. Uh, but before we do anything, well, actually, no, we're going to do this first. Let's do this first. Get all that out of there. Uh, we may need, may need those. Mm. 
Okay, that's good for now. Okay, now we're gonna go here. Amulet of Natural Armor plus two is actually pretty damn good. Um, yeah, you're not even wearing anything, dude. Ah, but it doesn't stack with you. Where are you getting your armor plus two? That's deflection. I th Does natural armor... No, it's still not stacking. What's giving him natural armor? Oh, there it is. It's the wyvern skin cloak. Um, okay. That's what it was. Uh, Jewel Blast, you already have a plus two. Tristian, you have a plus two. Knock, knock. Does not get any benefit from it because he has this one, I think. Yeah, plus three natural armor bonus to AC on that helmet. Huh, maybe I don't need these. Well, we can throw them on alt characters for now. You've got a plus two, right? Yeah. Okay, you've got a plus one, so we'll pop that on you. Uh, I'm going to throw one on Lindsay because, well, she's Lindsay and she's awesome. Um, who did I put it on that it didn't work? Was it, was it you? You? You. Nope, you need it. You? It was you. There we go. Lens, you get that one. There we go. Okay. Uh, brace of armor plus four. You get those too. Love you, Lindsay. Okay. Uh, let's... I think that's good. The slicer I want to put on this guy. Because that's like the, one of the best scimitars ever. And if I ever want to use him... Well, now he's got an amazing scimitar. Okay. Cool. All right. So, first, before we do anything, well, I should probably buy a bunch of BP because I need it. Let's do that first. I'm just going to buy all the BP. Mm. Applause, please. Applause, please. All right, there's that. We'll do that for now. Uh, crack a lackin' with the hundred cheer. Thank you for that, my dude. I really appreciate it, buddy. Jabberwocky42, thanks for that host. Okay, so we have to do this. Tristian suggested the Baron walk around in the city, searching for the cult Barkers. Okay, so we need to find Tristian. I want to make sure we do his quest. There's Valerie. That is not far. Uh, maybe down here. Look on the map. Oh. Oh, there he is. Great. Thank you. Thou Panda, have a good day, buddy. We'll see you later, man. As it should be. Oh, here we go. Save. Tristian's forehead is wrinkled as if the priest is deeply puzzled. He's holding a piece of paper covered with writing. We're lucky to have met you. Meet Amalia, loyal follower of the Kingdom of the Cleansed. Do you remember? We've recently been discussing this unusual initiative. The priest raises an eyebrow suggestively. Amalia was so kind as to tell me everything that she and her friends are doing. Young Amalia turns her childishly round and freckled face and looks at you with clear green eyes. She wears a simple dress and a necklace made of dried ash berries and is holding a stack of papers. The girl blushes at the priest's words. Please stay a moment. It would be a pleasure for me to tell you about our kingdom. So what have you been discussing? I've just been asking how Amalia came to the kingdom. What attracted her to this teaching? Amalia suddenly blushes. I, there is someone in my family who followed the goddess's commandments. Soon I myself will enter the kingdom, and I hope that through loyal service and veneration, I'll prepare myself for the main test which I have yet to endure. Tristan shakes his head. And your family don't mind that this will happen to you? Are they ready to, you, are they ready to sacrifice you to their goddess? Of course they are. To be one of the chosen, one of the cleansed, is a great honor for each of us. But you're so young. Why hurry to leave this world before you've experienced it in full? It's 
wrong to think about yourself. Once I wanted to live in Restov, wear dresses, and walk down boulevards, but then these terrible things started happening. So many people in our village died. The goddess teaches that selfishness leads to trouble. Now my only wish is to serve the kingdom of the goddess. What did you find out about the kingdom, Tristian? Tristian leans gently towards Amalia. The kingdom of the cleansed is a brotherhood of those who believe in the great goddess who promises salvation in return for cleansing. Forgive me, Amalia, if I'm missing any important details. Hey, Cobalt Streak. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Our mission is saving innocent souls from the curse that falls upon the heads of the undeserving. The goddess is ready to guard from evil anyone who kisses the ground and begs for mercy. Those who have rejected their sinful ways may enter the kingdom of the cleanse and pray for their speedy deliverance from worldly torments. Amalia's voice becomes monotone, as if she's reading from notes, and her eyes stare emptily into the space past your shoulder. To give your life for the goddess, isn't it the greatest honor any of us can receive? And destroying the false ruler, isn't that the truest destiny of all of nature's loyal servants? Got it good. You've been brainwashed, girl! Amelia shakes her head sadly. Don't worry, the time will come that you will come to understand that the first faithful was right. I hope it won't be long, when you, you and I will reunite in the embrace of the goddess. Does your goddess have a name? Yes, but only the first faithful knows it. He is the high priest to whom the goddess appeared. He delivers her commandments and shows us her will. Through him, she lays open her design to clear the tormented ground, sending signs and opening doors to her creatures through the bodies of mortals. Oh. They're worshipping the first world fae. What false ruler are you talking about? Amelia's eyes become round. The Baron, cursed by the goddess. He's the source of all of our woes. He cast aside natural laws and vandalized the field and forest. Just, uh, let, 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 me, let me stop here for a second. Are you aware that I am the very same Baron who you are condemning? Tristian looks at you fiercely, trying hard to maintain his polite smile. Amelia examines you, confused and embarrassed. Uh, you? It can't be. You're, you're so polite. And Sir Tristian would hardly be friends with such a dreadful creature as the Cursed Baron. Okay, I guess we'll just leave it at that. Tell me more about this deliverance from worldly torments. Inhabiting this world where unhappiness and unfairness multiply taints the soul and turns it from the eternal kingdom of freedom and love granted by the goddess. But you can cleanse your sins by accepting her gift, a special goodness that sets the cleansed apart. Tristian closes his eyes. Goodness? What goodness could hide in a painful death? Not everyone is capable of withstanding the test because the way the cleansing lies through the bodily torment. But, oh, because the way to cleansing lies through bodily torment. But those who overcome their passions and prove their loyalty become the womb of the goddess to bear her children, wild and beautiful as she herself. The soul of the cleanse rests in the hands of the goddess. If you have any questions, please take an invitation to our meeting. We meet at sunset in the appointed place we accept the sacrament of the first faithful himself. Soon another meeting will take place. Do come, you and Sir Tristian. What are you holding? Same invitation that Amalia gave you. Okay. I have to go too. I need to get to the other side of the city. I hope to see you at our next meeting and use too, Sir Tristian. So long, Amalia. May the good goddess save you. Wow. Christian looks down at the leaflet he's still holding. His face is sad. A meeting at the appointed place. There are even directions how to get there. It looks like it's time we visit this sacrament. What do you think awaits us at the meeting? Oh. Tristian looks pensively into the distance. Whatever awaits, this mysterious first faithful will be there. Judging by his title, he's the one who invented this insane kingdom. I believe that talking to him will solve many of the riddles we face. Will you come with me? I would insist on participating in this investigation. I cannot let you go alone after I drag you into this strange affair. Amalia looked at you very fondly, don't you think? Tristian shakes his head and turns grim. You distract us from our goal. Is something wrong? I worship Serenray myself, but my faith has little in common with the faith of these cultists. They fill the head of innocent children with pernicious and dangerous ideas, which I cannot fully understand. I just meant she had a nice butt. But, you know, that's fine. Whatever you want, Tristian. That's cool. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and... 
Do we need more BP? I don't think so. I also don't think we need to do this immediately. Um, we're going to do a save and see if I can take the Silver Step Kingdom first. And then if we can do that and then go south, I would definitely prefer to do that. Let's buy as much BP as we can, because not only are we going to have to take that region, but we're also going to have to build a city. Uh, there. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, Gummy Bear Wookie with a 10 sub bomb. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Awesome. Remember to level up your advisor? Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to level up. I think the only person we're using as an advisor that I haven't leveled up fully is Linz. So we'll do that right now. How did I get my portrait of this character? Uh, I'm using a custom portrait for my guy. Uh, there's some really great portrait packs out. You can find them in the GOG forums. And uh, instructions on Follow how to install them are in there too. It's very easy. Can I have a zoom in on Letho? Uh, well, how about this? Let, let's put the real star of the show up here. There we go. Good talk, good talk. Uh, okay, so let's see. What are you doing? Ah, oh, they don't you. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> He's a cutie. He knew he was on camera. He got a little. He got a little. A uh, little shy. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take the Silver Step region, and hopefully. This Tristine quest isn't timed. Um, in which case, we're kind of in trouble. Oh, we gotta level up Lindsay. We gotta level up Lindsay. Let's do that first. <clears throat> oh, we gotta level up twice, I think. Which is good, because that means we make it a charisma bonus. Uh, what do I want to give to her? What do I want to give to her? Um, extra performance is good. Um, oh, I can give her a mini shot? Uh, mm, what do you guys think? I might actually use Lindsay at some point, so... Maybe spell pen? Because spell pen works against all of her sleeps and stuff, right? Maybe spell pen? Um, definitely not spell pen. Ring song things. You need bow proficiency before you get many shots? Oh, many shots bow only. Oh, I'm using crossbows. Never mind. Okay. Oh, extend meta magic. That's a great idea. Let's get that. Because she has a lot of long-term buffs. So that could be really good. That's a good call. Thank you. Uh, we'll go ahead and get... Uh, good Hope. That's a great one. It's a great buff. Oh, we already have Good Hope. Nice. Beautiful. Let's get... Oh, Crushing Despair is pretty good. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna get Crushing Despair. It's actually pretty, that's a pretty decent one. And then one more level. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I could give her Canny Observer for the Perception bonus. That would, that's always good. Um, I can also do Combat Trick for something. Mmm. What is something that would help? What is a skill I could get that would help her debuffs land? What is something I could get to her for her that would help her debuffs land? Because uh, I think that would probably be super helpful. Spell focus? Hmm. But what spell? Can I even get spell focus? I don't even think I can get spell focus on her. 
How do you get spell focus? Oh, oh, that's a combat thing. I can't do that right now. Oh. Wait, can I? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't show up under here. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Um Skill focus trickery? Oh, that's a good idea. That would work. Oh, th hey, thank you for watching, uh, Garota. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. No, I don't... Yeah, like Ringsong said, I don't think Spell Pen um, is the best option. Spell... Or, or this this is a little bit... Uh, excuse me. What, what I was saying earlier is not... It probably wouldn't work too well. Um, can you observer? Iron Guts... I could do a skill focus on, on trickery. Yeah, I mean, that's... I could be fine. Blind fight on her? Allied spellcaster? What does allied spellcaster do? You are skilled at piercing the protections of other creatures with your spells. Whenever you are adjacent to an ally who has a feet, you receive it. That actually is pretty good. I would need to get this on other people, but that actually might be pretty good. Um, if I got this on her and also like on Octavia, um, but isn't this just, would this stack with spell pen? That'd probably stack with spell pen, right? Yeah, okay, okay. I may actually just want to do that. And then I may get spell pen on her too. Yeah. Again, I'm not gonna be using Lindsay too much, so I'm not I'm not fretting this too much. We'll just do that. Uh okay, we get a number two, we'll get glitter dust to have more people that can do that. Number four, oh god. Oh god, these are good. Um uh, greater visibility is always a great one. And maybe hold monster? No, no, I would. I don't want to hold monster. Echolocation? No. Rainbow pattern is pretty good too. What's Shield of Dawn? Oh, huh, okay. Um, we could give her a heal. I mean, it'd be nice if she could heal too. But we generally are pretty good in healing. Uh. Ah! Yeah. Let's give her a heal. Let's give her a heal, too. Because the nice thing about bards is they get, like, collections of casts. So this will kind of free up if we... If she has a lot of these available, we can just use those to heal up. That's fine. That's cool. Okay, so she is now fully leveled. Perfect. So we're going to save it. And now I'm going to try to take this area. She was plus 11 last time. Did, did, did giving her up getting a... No, she's still plus 11. Okay, that's fine. All right, here we go. Save it. Go. Our barony is growing. Awesome. Awesome. I hate you so much, Valerie. Valerie, you ruined everything! Okay. Let's see what we do. God, the load times are so much better now! This is like... It's seriously like playing a completely different game. Ooh. Ooh. Yes! Oh, God roll. Oh, love it. That that was beautiful. Okay. Okay. Uh storyteller, go ahead, bud. Hey magic. 
Tristian for sure. Now, I need to level Jihad. Twice. I should probably do that now, because that would unlock the Arcane Advisor. Which I really want. Um... Uh, okay, so I need to make sure, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is, like, I, don't, I really don't want to mess up a companion quest. There you are, I've wanted to see you in person for a long time. Oliver Bravoy is talking about your feats. The girl is smiling curiously, sizing you up, and she finally nods to you. Mim Wobblegander, the greatest goldsmith in Restov at your service, happy to meet the ruler of the land. You know, it's quite beautiful here. The view of a lake surrounded by picturesque green forests were inspirational for a lovely brooch design. I do have a sapphire, but no green jewels, and I have no idea who can help me with this. We're surrounded by simpletons here. We know nothing about sublime matters except for you, of course. Very well, you shall have your gemstones. Wonderful, I shall impatiently await your return. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Slick Joint. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for your 44 months, my dude. Uh, I'm happy to see you, almost worthy one. I have a new gift and new stories await you. Please accept this fine item. It's been crafted according to the traditions of the Vudrani craftsmanship. I thank you, Shania. Okay. The Carefree Hunter? 